It's so hard to wake up in the morning and paint your miniatures. I need at least six of these. 20 fags. No food. That comes later. Um, oh, right, okay. Hi, it's Farron here from um, Ground Force Miniature Studios. And a little update over here. We have got my Chaos Rider that I've been doing. It's pretty much complete now. Just got to put um, some varnish over certain areas. And that's it, job done. A bit of dry brushing on the base. A bit here, a bit there. And fantastic. I really enjoyed uh, painting this. I'm thinking about actually getting a regiment of uh, some Warriors of Chaos, some uh, just some uh, rank and file infantry, just for the hell of it, and uh, see how I see how I get along with those. Really nice thing about this though is um, is the unusual war horn, you know, for the musician. It's now it's like it's got like a monster's head on it, a demon's head, and that was really good fun to paint. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed painting the whole thing, but uh, for like painting it with the glazes, not using my airbrush because I actually, uh, you know, depended on my airbrush for painting all my miniatures. And uh, now I've discovered this new technique, like Color of the Gods, actually um, put a video up on it. And for us to actually to share that knowledge from them, it's fantastic because I've never seen any. Uh, tutorials actually out there based upon that method and I think that method is really good it, it, it's difficult you know you can't just pick it up you know straight away but I mean once you get your um, consistency of your glazes um, correct it's all trial and error I mean practice on a an old miniature out of your bits box and try it that way before you commit yourself to doing it on a proper miniature that's what I've done on this because I had this kick about my bits box I just thought I'll uh, have a try and, uh, and for me it worked out quite well, uh, I've, got, I've got loads of time on my hands, I'm disabled, I can't bloody do this, can't do that, and for me, I really enjoyed painting this, it took two weeks to do it this way, but um, in all fairness, you get a better end result, the blending of the colours um, are more defined, um, you don't have such a coarse edge like you would with a airbrush don't get me wrong airbrush finishes are, are excellent I mean I've got three airbrushes I use them all the time for, di for different jobs I mean I have one for priming one for base and one for detail and um, for me uh, you know it's yeah you know, it is good I, w I still use it for my airbrush for doing things with like uh, if I've got a large model like this here which I'm thinking about painting uh, sometime I'll, uh, I'll use it to actually, um, I'll use my airbrushes to actually paint that because it's such a large model and I'll, uh, I'll use my airbrushes for base coating but as for the shading, I'm definitely doing with the, um, using the uh, blends much more rewarding and take my word for it, it is rewarding um, especially when you've, you've, if you can just figure out like on here, I base coated all of this in um, Mechrite Red to begin with, the old Mechrite Red, which is a um, Mephiston Red now, I think, um, and then I just then sprayed it after that with um, some satin varnish. The reason I'd done that was to actually um, create less surface tension, so when I'm actually blending the um, glazes together, you know, I, it was a smooth transition, no rough edges. So um, I'd say give it a shot. You know, you never know, you might like doing it, you might not. If you don't like doing it, just stick to what you know. At the end of the day, and um, we all have our uh, own methods of painting, but for me, I actually really enjoyed doing it this way. It's not bad at all. But the one thing I did find difficult was the uh, non-metallic metals. I got to have another go at that because I crumbled and uh, I ended up putting um, bulk gun metal on the actual uh, miniature figure himself, so uh, on his, so the edges of his uh, shoulder pads, on his breastplate, he's got bolt gun metal. So, uh, practice, I'll have to practice again. But um, other than that, it's really good fun to do, and I highly recommend the method. Give it a go, You've got nothing to lose if you're just gonna use an old miniature from your bits box. And um, I'm still waiting for my Dark Elves. 
Yeah, I will be getting those from the missus sooner or later. It's just when we can afford it. She said she'll get them to me. She's always she always keeps her word. <coughs> and um, excuse me. That's gonna. That's pretty much it. What I've done at the moment in my little studio. I mean, this is my studio. I do all my work here, and it's my little corner of my world. Kids and the wife have got the rest of the house. This is my little section over here. And then they leave me alone and let me do what I want to do. Keep me happy. And yes. See? We've got another Chaos horse, but he's minus a rider. Which is a real shame. I'll have to look on eBay. But, uh, not sure if I mentioned yeah earlier. Not sure if I mentioned it, but I got um ordered some dropper bottles from eBay because I want to transfer all my Citadel paint into these because paint lasts longer in these. I've got some covered here which lasted years, and uh, these are designed to dry out. To, so you go out and buy more. You know what I mean? It's it's a clever way of getting money out of people. Clever way. But um, no, I'm transferring all of mine into dropper bottles because I saw Corvus's um, video last week and I thought, oh, that's a plan that is. And the dropper bottles, I've, I bought 50 off some Chinese company and £3.39 for 50, 15 ml bottles. So I, I couldn't grumble at that. A little bit smaller than the standard Vallejo game colour bottle, just a tad smaller, but I don't care, as long as I can preserve my paint and make it last longer because it doesn't come cheap. Well, I mean that's my Monday morning ramble, I don't think I can ramble on about anything else other than I've gone really anal retentive, like one water jar for colours, one for metallics, and the other one's airbrush waste. I'm going to mix all my paints now with this um, Life Colour Acrylic Thinner. Brilliant stuff. Um, yeah, I'm just trying to find something to talk about now and I can't think of anything. So I think I'd best sign off and uh, see you in the next one. And uh, I'll try and get some photograph stills of the um, horsey and tell us what you think. Thanks. Bye.